Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Do you need to know English idioms? Let's talk about it. In my course, The Fearless Fluency Club, we have a private Facebook group for members of the course, and this question has come up a couple times. Vanessa, do I need to learn idioms? How many idioms do I need to know? How can I learn them? So I want to address this question and answer it for those people and also answer it for you in case you had the same question. The best way to answer this question is to see if native speakers use idioms in daily conversation. And you can do this by watching TV shows, by interacting with native speakers, by reading books. This is a good way to see if it's actually used and which idioms are used in conversation. This is something that I've tried to help with in my live lessons recently. We've been focusing on some idioms that I personally have used within the last week or the last couple days because I want to help you with commonly used idioms, not thousands of idioms that we don't really use that often. So the first question is, do native speakers actually use idioms? Let's take a look at one idiom and see how it's used in real life. You've probably heard the idiom, a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. This means it's easy. Mowing the lawn was a piece of cake. Making new friends is a piece of cake for me. Playing the piano is not a piece of cake. It's easy. But do native speakers actually use this in daily conversation? If you watch TV shows or watch native speakers' conversations, I recommend listening for idioms and writing down the ones that you hear because some people will use idioms more than other people. But maybe they don't use them in the same way that you think they should be used. Just like this idiom, a piece of cake. Yes, it means easy, something that's easy, but typically in conversation, we use this in a sarcastic way, kind of in a joking way, and we don't use the full idiom. We don't usually say, it was a piece of cake. If someone says, oh, Vanessa, you're learning Russian? Isn't that hard? I maybe think, ah, oh, it is really hard, but I want to make a joke, so I might say, Oh, piece of cake, piece of cake. It's a joke because really it is hard, it is a big deal, but I could use this idiom in the opposite way. So in this situation, you can see that native speakers might use some idioms, but they might be in different ways than your idiom book shows. This is why I recommend a lot of natural English input, watching TV shows, listening to podcasts, listening to conversations, participating in conversations. This way you can be exposed to idioms in their natural situations. So one way that my students do this is by a conversation that I have with another English speaker each month. So in the Fearless Fluency Club, I have a conversation about 30 minutes with another native English speaker. And we see, do they use idioms? Do they use phrasal verbs? What do they use? How can we imitate their style of speaking? Because each person has a different way of speaking. Some people never use idioms. Some people use them a lot. Some people use a lot of slang or other types of speech. So we can see for individual people how they speak and how to imitate it. And you can do this as well while you're watching YouTube videos or watching a movie. Use your notebook and write down some idioms when you hear them. If you're using subtitles, this will be a lot easier because you'll see them in English and hear them in English. You can accurately write them. And this way you'll know which ones native speakers use and which ones they don't and in which situations, which context. 
I hope that this quick explanation is useful to you, and if you want to learn some real idioms that native speakers use certainly in daily conversation, check out some of my latest live lessons where we focused on some idioms that I've used in my life. That way you know they're real, you know the context, you know all of the nuances and situations when you might use it, you really feel comfortable and know that you're speaking natural English. And in the comments below this video, I want to challenge you to try to make a sentence using an idiom. It could be any idiom. Maybe an idiom that you learned with me in our live lessons. Maybe an idiom that we talked about today, like piece of cake, using it like a joke, sarcastically. It's really hard, but you say, oh, piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> so in the comments below this video, I want to see your idiom sentence and help you to use it naturally. Thanks so much for learning with me and I'll see you the next time. Bye. The next step is to download my free ebook, Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker. I want to help you master English and speak fluently. Feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss new English lessons. Thanks so much for learning with me. Bye.